Good morning, my classy, classy people. My name is Wayne Bolden. I'm your speed king. Of course, Saturday morning. Belmont Steaks morning. Having a cup of coffee in the studio. And we're going to be taking a look, of course, always working on Sunday's races. Uh, a couple graded races. But as always, turn your CCs on. I want to give a shout out to a new viewer out there. His name is Paul Wildryer, I believe is his name. He came across our channel and he made a comment. And Dan Martin went to defend your, your speed king. Not that Paul said anything derogatory. He had just came across our channel. And I wanted to let him know that we are a community. We are a community of classy people that love horses and horse racing. We have a place to go. We respect each other's opinion and the right to have one. So really, we create a community Well, we can come and have a healthy discussion, man. You know, and have a bunch of fun. And of course, we're going to make some shackles. Please. So anyway, let's take a look at a steak race over there on Sunday at Santa Anita, the summertime Oaks. Right? And they got seven horses. That's, a, that's awesome in Santa Anita. It's the ninth race, summertime Oaks, grade two, going to mile and 16 for three-year-old fillies. Let's dive right in. All right, so the Summertime Oaks is the ninth race. The number one horse, Desert Dawn, who I believe got lucky last time when, when, when she won this race for sure. I mean, she's a nice filly all in her own, okay? She has eight uh, starts with two wins in three seconds. Trained by that man again, Mama Who It's Phil DeMotto. How nice. Phil DeMotto's a good trainer, y'all. I, you know, I mean, Phil DeMotto needs to come up out of California and start doing this thing nationally, and I've seen him throughout the country a lot more. Phil DeMille's an awesome, awesome trainer. And he's doing all the signal calling on uh, Desert Dawn, the number one, with Respoli in the arm. And I said, too, back, I thought the horse got a little lucky in the Santa Anita Oaks when, um, you know, under the stars missed the break. But that uh, being said, uh, you have to use Desert Dawn at 5-2 to two underneath. I'm not, um, you know, it's going to be one of my top three. She'll be one of my top three picks for sure by Cupid. Gandora. Well, Gandora, I mean, how can you shake a stick at this here, Philly? She's two for two. What are you going to say? They pay one, one million dollars for this Philly who's by quality rode on the back end by Go Zappa. That's right, the number two, Gandora. I mean, she's by quality rode. And her granddaddy is Ghost Zapper. I mean, it doesn't get any better than that. And Gandor is two for two. They paid a million dollars. Sean, Sean uh, McCarthy's doing the training. And uh, they're stretching this horse out for the first time from six and a half to a mile and 16. Now, here is the big note on Gandora. Both of her races that she won, the maiden special race on February 26th at Santa Anita and the allowance race on April 10th at Santa Anita, she was being ridden by Juan Hernandez. And everybody know Juan Hernandez is the best jock in California. No, you did not just say it. Even with Flavian Pratt. <laughs> Flavian <laughs> Pratt was out there. He was the best. But Juan Hernandez was on Gandora, both wins. Guess where he ended up? On the number six horse. Okay, under the stars. Mike Smith was on under the stars when she missed the break in the Santa Anita Oaks. So, all I'm saying is, for Juan Hernandez to get up off the two horse, who's two for two, and go down there to under the stars, take it for what it's worth. Okay, but I'm telling you now, no, this horse is this horse number two. Gandora is bred beautifully, uh, quality road on the back end by Ghost Zappa. Shoot, please. Horse would be probably my second pick. Well, by Carmel. Well, by Carmel is uh, five starts, one win, one second, and one third. This horse appears to be a little light on speed figures. The number three horse, 15 to one. Papa's doing the training. Gonzalez is in the yards. I don't like the three by Carmel in this spot. Let's throw her out. Well, Kirsten Bosch. The old Kirsten Bosch. The number four horse is 6-1 to one on the morning line. Has never not hit the board in three starts. One win in two seconds. That's okay. This horse is by Midnight Luke and John Sadler. That John Sadler, the one with Flightline, is in the race. Right? John Sadler is in the race. He's doing all the training and the uh, conditioning on Kirsten Bosch, okay, and too late. Uh, 
I don't think this horse is going to be able to muster up what it's going to take to win this race for sure, all right, in my humble opinion. And uh, John Sadler got his own problems today with Flightline. Now, I don't know if they're going to beat Flightline today. I'm on a side note here. But I know one, I know one uh, uh, horse out there that could beat Flightline. Jackie's Warrior. No, y'all just said it. Man, Jackie Warrior smacked Flightline around like he's standing still. But anyway, Kirsten Bosch. Let's throw her off the ticket to number five. The number four. The number five will throw her off the ticket as well. Who? Emperor Gal. One win from two starts by Empire Maker. There's nothing wrong with that. And on the back end by Tappet, there surely ain't nothing wrong with that. There's that man again who not Phil the model, but Mike McCarthy. That boy knows how to flat out train. Well, he ain't got me on this one. The number five Emperor Girl. We're going to throw her off the ticket at 12 to 1. And here's the horse we were talking about under the star. Juan Hernandez took this horse, this horse over Gandora, the number two. And again, this is going to be my top pick. I like the horse. Totally missed the break on April 9th in the Santa Anita Oaks. You can go watch that race. Was trained by Tim Yak. First trained by Bob Baffert. Went to Tim Yak team. And then they took him from Tim Yak team and gave him to Sean McCarthy, which was a smart thing to do. So the number six under the stars is my top pick in here. This is a very, very nice horse by Pioneer of the Nile on the back end by Stormcat. Wow. Hernandez is in the arms. We talked about it. And this horse's speed figure two and three back is just as good or equivalent to horses like the number one Desert Dawn. Okay. So again, we love under the stars in this spot. And the last horse in the race is Lady T. Well, Lady T has one win from six starts and four seconds, becoming a bit of a bridesmaid, but at least she hits the board. The horse really never do anything wrong. She's buying to mischief. Uh, John Sheriff, I don't know. There's Mr. Sheriff doing all the conditioning on the horse. And you got the old man, Hall of Famer, Victor Espinosa in the arms on the back end by Malibu Moon. So, again, everybody, I mean, I think this three to one's a little light. But, again, I understand that I don't particularly like the 7 in this spot, but I would use her underneath for sure. So, what is it that we like in the Summertime Oaks, ninth race on Sunday at beautiful Santa Anita, the great race place? Well, again, like we said, we know Desert Dawn beat the number 6 under the stars when he missed the break at 14-1. Um, the Desert Dawn would be our third pick. We just think the change in the jock with the hustle and Juan Hernandez on the horse under the stars is a push. Now, when you see Juan get off the two horses, two for two, you know that the number six horse is alive. So our top pick is the number six horse uh, under the stars. Our second pick, well, you know, it's going to be the number two horse. We really like Andor. She's two for two. She's on the back end by Ghost Sapper. Yeah, I'm being a homer here, right? And uh, the horse should stretch out. There's no reason. And she's just as speedy as the six horse. So. There you go. So we like six, two, one in that order in the summertime state in the summertime oaks at Santa Anita on Sunday. As always, folks, under the stars should smack these horses around. Stay classy in all you do. Thanks again, Paul, for watching. And most of all, have a bunch of fun. Right? And remember, if they go low, you go high. Keep it one hundred, folks. I'll talk to you.